Numbers chapter 25 While Israel was staying in Shittim, the men began to indulge in sexual immorality with Moabite women, who invited them to the sacrifices to their gods. The people ate the sacrificial meal and bowed down before these gods. So Israel yoked themselves to the Baal of Peor, and the Lord's anger burned against them. The Lord said to Moses, Take all the leaders of these people, kill them, and expose them in broad daylight before the Lord, so that the Lord's fierce anger may turn away from Israel. So Moses said to Israel's judges, each of you must put to death those of your people who have yoked themselves to the Baal of Peor. Then an Israelite man brought into the camp a Midianite woman right before the eyes of Moses and the whole assembly of Israel while they were weeping at the entrance to the tent of meeting. When Phinehas, son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saw this, he left the assembly, took a spear in his hand, and followed the Israelite into the tent. He drove the spear into both of them, right through the Israelite man and into the woman's stomach. Then the plague against the Israelites was stopped. But those who died in the plague numbered twenty-four thousand. The Lord said to Moses, Phinehas, son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, has turned my anger away from the Israelites. Since he was as zealous for my honor among them as I am, I did not put an end to them in my zeal. Therefore tell him, I am making my covenant of peace with him. He and his descendants will have a covenant of a lasting priesthood, because he was zealous for the honor of his God, and made atonement for the Israelites. The name of the Israelite who was killed with the Midianite woman was Zimri, son of Salu the leader of a Simeonite family. And the name of the Midianite woman who was put to death was Cosbi, daughter of Zur, a tribal chief of a Midianite family. The Lord said to Moses, Treat the Midianites as enemies and kill them. They treated you as enemies when they deceived you in the Peor incident involving their sister Cosbi, the daughter of a Midianite leader, the woman who was killed when the plague came as a result of that incident. Numbers chapter 26 After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, Take a census of the whole Israelite community by families, all those twenty years old or more who were able to serve in the army of Israel. So on the plains of Moab by the Jordan opposite Jericho, Moses and Eleazar the priest spoke with them and said, Take a census of men twenty years old or more, as the Lord commanded Moses. These were the Israelites who came out of Egypt. The descendants of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, were, through Hanok, the Hanokite clan, through Palu, the Paluite clan, through Hezron, the Hezronite clan through Carmi, the Carmite clan. These were the clans of Reuben. Those numbered were 43,730. The son of Palu was Eliab. The sons of Eliab were Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. The same Dathan and Abiram were the community officials who rebelled against Moses and Aaron and were among Korah's followers when they rebelled against the Lord. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them along with Korah, whose followers died when the fire devoured the two hundred and fifty men, and they served as a warning sign. The line of Korah, however, did not die out. The descendants of Simeon by their clans were, through Nemuel, the Nemuelite clan, through Jamin, the Jamanite clan, through Jachin, the Jachinite clan, through Zerah, the Zerahite clan, through Sheul, the Sheulite clan. These were the clans of Simeon. Those numbered were 22,200. The descendants of Gad by their clans were, through Zephon, the Zephonite clan, 
through Haggai, the Haggite clan, through Shunai, the Shunite clan, through Osnai, the Osnite clan, through Erai, the Erite clan, through Arodai, the Arodite clan, through Arelai, the Arelite clan. These were the clans of Gad. Those numbered were 40,500. Er and Onan were sons of Judah, but they died in Canaan. The descendants of Judah by their clans were, through Shelah, the Shelanite clan, through Perez, the Perezite clan, through Zerah, the Zerahite clan. The descendants of Perez were, through Hezron, the Hezronite clan, through Hamul, the Hamulite clan. These were the clans of Judah. Those numbered were 76,500. The descendants of Issachar by their clans were through Tola, the Tolaite clan, through Pua, the Puite clan, through Jeshab, the Jeshabite clan, through Shimron, the Shimronite clan. These were the clans of Issachar. Those numbered were 64,300. The descendants of Zebulun by their clans were through Sered, the Seredite clan, through Elon, the Elonite clan, through Jaliel, the Jalielite clan. These were the clans of Zebulun, those numbered were 60,500. The descendants of Joseph by their clans through Manasseh and Ephraim were the descendants of Manasseh through Maker, the Makerite clan. Maker was the father of Gilead, through Gilead, the Gileadite clan. These were the descendants of Gilead. Through Aiza, the Aizarite clan, through Helek, the Helekite clan, through Asriel, the Asrielite clan, through Shechem, the Shechemite clan, through Shemida, the Shemadaiite clan, through Hepha, the Hepharite clan. Zelophehad, son of Hepha, had no sons. He had only daughters, whose names were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Terza. These were the clans of Manasseh. Those numbered were 52,700. These were the descendants of Ephraim by their clans. Through Shuthala, the Shuthalahite clan. Through Beka, the Bekerite clan. Through Tehan, the Tehanite clan. These were the descendants of Shuthala through Eron, the Eronite clan. These were the clans of Ephraim, those numbered were 32,500. These were the descendants of Joseph by their clans. The descendants of Benjamin by their clans were through Bela, the Belaite clan, through Ashbel, the Ashbelite clan, through Ahiram, the Ahiramite clan, through Shufam, the Shufamite clan, through Hufam, the Hufamite clan. The descendants of Bela through Ard and Naaman were through Ard, the Ardite clan, through Naaman, the Naamite clan. These were the clans of Benjamin. Those numbered were 45,600. These were the descendants of Dan by their clans, through Shuham, the Shuhamite clan. These were the clans of Dan. All of them were Shuhamite clans, and those numbered were 64,400. The descendants of Asher by their clans were through Imna, the Imnite clan, through Ishvai, the Ishvite clan, through Bariah, the Bariahite clan, and through the descendants of Bariah, through Heba, the Heberite clan, through Malkiel, the Malkielite clan. Asher had a daughter named Sirah, these were the clans of Asher. Those numbered were 53,400. The descendants of Naphtali by their clans were through Jaziel, the Jazielite clan, through Gunai, the Gunite clan, through Jiza, the Jizarite clan, through Shilem, the Shilamite clan. These were the clans of Naphtali. Those numbered were 45,400.
The total number of the men of Israel was 601,730. The Lord said to Moses, The land is to be allotted to them as an inheritance based on the number of names. To a larger group give a larger inheritance, and to a smaller group a smaller one. Each is to receive its inheritance according to the number of those listed. Be sure that the land is distributed by lot. What each group inherits will be according to the names for its ancestral tribe. Each inheritance is to be distributed by lot among the larger and smaller groups. These were the Levites who were counted by their clans, through Gershon the Gershonite clan, through Kohath the Kohathite clan, through Merari the Merarite clan. These also were Levite clans, the Libnite clan, the Hebronite clan, the Marlite clan, the Mushite clan, the Korahite clan. Kohath was the forefather of Amram. The name of Amram's wife was Jochebed, a descendant of Levi who was born to the Levites in Egypt. To Amram she bore Aaron, Moses, and their sister Miriam. Aaron was the father of Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they made an offering before the Lord with unauthorized fire. All the male Levites a month old or more numbered twenty-three thousand. They were not counted along with the other Israelites because they received no inheritance among them. These are the ones counted by Moses and Eleazar the priest when they counted the Israelites on the plains of Moab by the Jordan opposite Jericho. Not one of them was among those counted by Moses and Aaron the priest when they counted the Israelites in the desert of Sinai. For the Lord had told those Israelites they would surely die in the wilderness, and not one of them was left except Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, son of Nun. Numbers chapter 27 The daughters of Zelophehad, son of Hepha, the son of Gilead, the son of Machia, the son of Manasseh, belonged to the clans of Manasseh, son of Joseph. The names of the daughters were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Terza. They came forward and stood before Moses, Eleazar the priest, the leaders, and the whole assembly at the entrance to the tent of meeting, and said, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among Korah's followers who banded together against the Lord, but he died for his own sin and left no sons. Why should our father's name disappear from his clan? Because he had no son, give us property among our father's relatives. So Moses brought their case before the Lord, and the Lord said to him, What Zelophehad's daughters are saying is right. You must certainly give them property as an inheritance among their father's relatives, and give their father's inheritance to them. Say to the Israelites, If a man dies and leaves no son, give his inheritance to his daughter. If he has no daughter, give his inheritance to his brothers. If he has no brothers, give his inheritance to his father's brothers. If his father had no brothers, give his inheritance to the nearest relative in his clan that he may possess it. This is to have the force of law for the Israelites, as the Lord commanded Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go up this mountain in the Abarim range, and see the land I have given the Israelites. After you have seen it, you too will be gathered to your people as your brother Aaron was. For when the community rebelled at the waters in the desert of Zin, both of you disobeyed my command to honor me as holy before their eyes. These were the waters of Meribah Kadesh in the desert of Zin. Moses said to the Lord, May the Lord, the God who gives breath to all living things, appoint someone over this community to go out and come in before them, one who will lead them out and bring them in, so that the Lord's people will not be like sheep without a shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, son of Nun, 
a man in whom is the spirit of leadership, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eleazar the priest and the entire assembly, and commission him in their presence. Give him some of your authority, so that the whole Israelite community will obey him. He is to stand before Eleazar the priest, who will obtain decisions for him by inquiring of the Urim before the Lord. At his command, he and the entire community of the Israelites will go out, and at his command, they will come in. Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eleazar the priest and the whole assembly. Then he laid his hands on him and commissioned him, as the Lord instructed through Moses. Moses.